I will be presenting our paper, Generating Accurate Caption Units for Figure Captioning. My name is Xing. This is a joint work with co-authors, Yuni, Fan, Sancho, Jewel, Ryan, Sana, and Tak. We are from University of Maryland, College Park, and Adobe Research. To illustrate the motivation, suppose this scenario, you are about to start doing research on a new topic. There are existing work on that topic. You save them in your computer. It is the time to read extensively. However, time is limited. And to get an understanding that is as accurate and comprehensive, scheme reading becomes necessary. Those academic papers include scientific figures. You look at them and read the captions to get close to the paper's main ideas. In this case, Figure captions are elements in papers to communicate knowledge to scholar readers. The value of figure captions are not limited to scholars. For users with visual impairments and users with low network bandwidth, figure captions can scaffold as alternative text to increase the accessibility of the content page. To automatically generate captions for figures, one could imagine machines to take a process as how humans generate captions. The machines need to parse figure elements, reason over the relationships between elements, then describe the relationships in natural language. Recent advances in more general vision language problems, such as visual question answering and image captioning, show how well the machine can reason about and describe an image. Specifically for scientific figures, related work in include parsing visual elements from figures, rule-based figure captioning that is often dependent on visualization languages. Compared with those, our work ex explores a learning-based solution towards automatic figure captioning. Our solution will learn from a potential available large-scale web corpus of figures and captions. Before formulating a learning task, our team conducted a formative study on 100 human rating captions crawled from the web. Then annotated and analyzed the elements within the caption paragraph. The study showed that real-world captions usually consist of a finite set of caption units. Automatic figure captioning should be formulated as a multi-stage task. The first stage is to generate caption units with high accuracy and the second is to stitch together the units with diverse stitching patterns to form a natural caption. Following the corpus analysis, we formulate the problem of automatically generating caption units as a controlled image captioning problem. Given the input of a figure and caption unit type, a machine learning model will generate a natural language caption unit in that type. Besides, also included as part of our problem formulation, we highlight a few intermediate information coming along with the input. They are metadata information, which are OCR extracted text labels. It can be easily derived from the input figure. Also, there are additional inputs that are specified by the capture unit type. Additional inputs are necessary to nail down a unique ground truth. Due to time limit, we invite interested audiences to read a thematically in symbolized formulation in our paper. While the corpus analysis brought forth the idea of generating caption units, there is no readily available large scale data sets for doing supervised machine learning on this task. There are two existing figure question answering data sets, figure QA and DVQA on scientific figures. Both data sets contain a substantial number of questions aligned with the set of caption unit types from our previous corpus analysis annotation. We decided to convert them into data sets of figures and caption units on single bar charts. We used a spacey part of speech tagger to convert the questions into statement sentences. As a summary, the two converted data sets covers seven caption types. For each type, we specify additional inputs of that type. 
A caption type and the additional inputs nail down a unique caption unit ground truth. The value of additional inputs is to guarantee a fair evaluation of the accuracy of each machine-generated caption unit. Finally, we define a slot value word for each caption type. Soon, we will show that our proposed model incorporates an auxiliary classification module to ensure the correct prediction on the slot value and faster convergence. Slot values will help as additional inputs to generate subsequent caption types to form a caption paragraph. This table lists dataset statistics. Both datasets have two test splits, an easy one and a hard one to test model generalizability over unseen text labels that are unseen semantics. We propose the FIGGEN model that stands for figure captioning with joint attention to multi-model information. On the leftmost are four parts of input to the model. First, a pixel figure image. Second, a set of OCR extracted bounding box tuples as the metadata information. Third, the caption unit type in the red vector. Fourth, the additional inputs required for the type in the orange vector. A pre-trained convolutional neural network, ResNet50, encodes the raw figure image to get an image feature matrix. From the image feature matrix, we construct a matrix S where each row is a piece of local information in the image that is relevant to one bounding box tuples. The matrix S goes through an attention and relation classification module to highlight information that pertains to the cache unit type and additional input. Together with the image feature matrix, a multi-layer perceptron predicts a slot value from the dictionary for a caption unit that is to be generated. After obtaining the slot value classification result, we initialize a decoder LSTM with information from earlier part of the architecture. The decoder LSTM at each step predicts by attending to the image feature and the word embedding of the last predicted word. Our main evaluation quantitatively shows the effectiveness of FIGGEM over a few baselines. We report accuracy, in other words, exact match rate, EM, and blue force scores. The intuition is that an accurate predicted caption should exactly match with the ground truth. We also include the blue force scores to cross compare with one baseline. We implemented three baselines to test various features. CN LSTM attention is the basic image captioning model with soft attention. FCAP is an extension to the CN LSTM attention. It has attention module to the embeddings of text labels and pixel-based pairwise relations. Both models use a static dictionary. DVQA is an original visual question answering model with stacked attention. Same as our FIGGEM model, it also uses a small size dynamic dictionary to encode text labels that are unique to one figure. Overall, our FIGGEM model outperforms the competitive baselines, achieving high absolute scores. Despite the high values, our primary motivation is to present results of typing different capture units and demonstrate the technical bottleneck. In our supplementary repository, we also report overall accuracy that aggregates different types of capture units on the figure level. The group of models that use a static dictionary, CN, LSTM attention, and FCAP perform consistently unwell for non-trivial caption types label name, min max, comparison, and value. Comparing between DVQA and FIGGEM, there are benefits to directly utilize figure metadata information, including robustness to bias, that are position ordering heuristics, achieving high um, object-based relation comparison, 
and faster alt convergence. Finally, generating caption units for figures tend to be a more challenging task than figure question answering, a classification task. The level of difficulty to generate caption units varies across different types. From left to right are trivial caption types to non-trivial, more challenging ones. Next, we conducted an additional study about the problem formulation and FigGem model outputs. It is complementary to previous evaluation to better inform user experience research about the current technical landscape. This user study leaves openness to future work on the actual use cases and definition of target end users. Here, we target the population as cited participants as they are a less vulnerable population. We recruited 10 participants to write captions and rate FigGem generated captions for 12 figures sampled from the DVQA dataset. Overall, the quality, accuracy, and naturalness of machine outputs are slightly above midpoint in Likert scale. Participants commented positively about accuracy. Their comments about caption naturalness show that machine outputs tend to be verbose and low level, which might be appropriately natural for the ac accessibility use case. Previous two evaluations indicate that machine generated captions have high accuracy, but are not always natural to humans. One solution is to post edit to improve caption naturalness. The term post editing comes from machine translation, where humans modify machine generated translation to improve quality. We did a simulation experiment to investigate FigGem for handling two cases of post editing, paraphrasing and stitching. This also differentiates FigGem from rule based figure captioning system, where the latter can also generate accurate but not natural caption. We point out a direction to modify FigGem for handling multi-word text labels with an additional LSTM encoder, which we name as FigGem++. The experiment runs from converted caption datasets on DVQA and a more recent realistic LeafQA figure question answering dataset. We wrote regular expression rules to create simulated human written ground truth captions. The research question is, how many post-editing rules would an expert need to write to tweak the captioning outputs for a pipeline rule-based figure captioning system, such that its generated caption could sound as natural as a data-driven FigGem model? Results show that it takes at least two times the number of rules for a simulated expert to improve the caption quality of a pipeline system to that of FigGem++. In summary, our paper formulates the task of accurately generating caption units as a controlled image captioning problem. We created two datasets from the figure question answering task. A new deep learning model, FigGem, utilizes metadata information and a joint static and dynamic dictionary. Quantitative evaluations, a user study, and a post-editing simulation study shows the model's potential. Like other deep learning research, our future work also depends on appropriate data sets. We hope our work can open collaborations among the research community. We'd like to thank our user study participants. This brings us to the end of this presentation. Thank you very much.